Hey, I'm Julie Fayfan Balzer, and I love to make Scan and Cut videos based on your questions. So one of the very frequent questions I get is how to export and save files in Canvas Workspace. So there are a couple of things you need to know. The first is that there are a couple different types of Canvas Workspace. There's what I call three and a half. So there's Canvas Workspace that exists in the cloud. That's Canvas Workspace Online. You access it through a browser and you can use a Mac, a PC, a tablet, whatever, it doesn't matter, okay? Then there is the Canvas Workspace Online that you access through a tablet. As I mentioned, it's a little bit different, so that's the half. Then there's Canvas Workspace for Mac and Canvas Workspace for PC, and both of those are downloads that go to either your Mac or your PC. So that's the three and a half versions of Canvas Workspace, and each one is just a teeny bit different. So I'm going to show you all three and a half of them. And I also wanted to mention file extensions. So FCM, or Fancy Cutting Machine, Fabric Cutting Machine, that's the proprietary file extension that Scan and Cut uses that your Scan and Cut machine can read and you can export from Canvas Workspace. If you have a working file in Canvas Workspace for Mac or Canvas Workspace for, for PC, then you're gonna save it as a CWPRJ, Canvas Workspace Project. Now that cannot be read by your Scan and Cut machine, so you'll need to convert it before you go ahead and try to load it into your machine. But don't worry, I'm gonna take you through all of it. So let's start with Canvas Workspace Online. So here I am, I have my file and I'm ready to go ahead and export it. So there's a large download button over on the left side. If you don't see it, it might be because this arrow right here is closed. And you can see that if you simply click on the arrow, it will open right up and you can see that big download button, which you can now use. So if I click on it, I'm gonna get two options. And the two options are I can download it to my computer. That's gonna save it as an F C M file, okay? And I can also transfer it wirelessly if I have a wirelessly activated scan and cut. So then the file will not save at all. If you do this, it's simply gonna transfer over to the scan and cut. So now, if you wanted to go ahead and save it to the cloud, because you have unlimited free cloud storage in Canvas Workspace Online, that's when you would wanna use this icon right here. This button is gonna allow you to save it to the cloud in your files, okay? And that exists again in the browser at canvasworkspace.brother.com. So now let's go ahead and look at the tablet version of Canvas Workspace Online. So now on my tablet here in my browser at canvasworkspace.brother.com, I can go ahead and see that big download button. I can also click on the arrow to close that download button or to open it and I can go ahead and click on the download. I'll get the same options that I got when I was on my computer, download to PC or scan and cut transfer. I can also, of course, use that same icon in the upper left corner to go ahead and save the project to the cloud. So you can see it's pretty much identical to how it looks in your browser on your computer. So I'm here in Canvas Workspace for Mac. Now, here's my file. I wanna go ahead and export it, and I can also, of course, save it. So what I do is I go up to the menu that says File at the very top, click on it, and you can see now the save options. If I hit save, this is gonna save, as I said, as a CWPRJ or Canvas Workspace Project file, okay? Not readable by your scan and cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. However, if I want to either export it as an FCM file to put onto a USB thumb drive or anything like that, or if I wanna transfer it wirelessly to my machine, that's when I'm gonna use the export slash transfer FCM file right here. And you can see the shortcut is also indicated there. So if I click on this, I'll get a little screen and it will tell me either export it as an FCM file, that means it's gonna save it to my computer and I can then drag it onto a USB thumb drive or whatever else I want, or I can transfer that FCM file via the internet to my machine with my wirelessly activated scan and cut, okay? So now we're gonna take a look at Canvas Workspace for PC, and it's gonna pretty much be an identical process. So I'm here in Canvas Workspace for PC, and I have a file that I wanna go ahead and export or save. So just like in Canvas Workspace for Mac, I'm gonna go up to the File menu, and you'll see that I can save it if I want. And again, that's gonna be as a CWPRJ, Canvas Workspace project. I'm gonna hit Cancel. 
or again, under the file menu, I can export or transfer it. Now this time we're gonna get a couple, uh, not a couple, but we're gonna get one new option that we haven't gotten before. So you can see export FCM file, we know that, that's saving it to our PC. Transfer the FCM file via the internet, we know that, that's the wireless transfer to your scan and cut machine, but here with PC, one of the things that you can do is you can transfer the FCM file to your scan and cut using a USB cable. And I do have a video all about exactly how to do that. So if you want to learn about that process, you can check that video out. But that's it. That's how easy the process is of saving and exporting your files from Scan and Cut Canvas Workspace. You just have to know which Canvas Workspace you're dealing with so that you can find those download and save buttons that you're looking for. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. For more tips and tricks, be sure to check out my blog at balzerdesigns.typepad.com, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and of course, visit the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.